In this video, I'm going to show you a demonstration basically to convert a V3 site to a V5 site. I'm talking about Bootstrap version 3 to version 5. Now, as you see in the screen over here, now I have this Bootstrap site, which is a V5 site. Okay, so I'm not going to do anything on this site. Okay, now this is in the dev environment. Now, uh, let me go into the UAT environment. Okay, here I have an old site, which is a wingtip site, which is in a uh, uh, v3 bootstrap version so let me confirm that so if i preview the site and if i just do a right click and i say view page source and if i search for the text bootstrap you won't see any v5 references over here so that means that gives a confirmation that this site is v3 site okay so that's uh i'm setting a stage in the u8 environment so now i'm going to do a bit reverse i'm going to do migrate a site from u8 to dev okay ideally you should not do that but this is uh, what my arrangement is okay now okay i'm going to convert this site from u8 to dev okay migrate it but before i do that i will convert that into a v5 version okay so now to set a stage uh CPP site. Now, this is a folder which I've created where I'm going to download the uh, v3 version of this site. Okay. So, the first step is what you need to do is you need to uh, say open PowerShell and uh, make sure that you have PaxCLI installed and uh, and make sure that you have uh, run this command. Okay. Pack install latest because this is the one way you need to run it now. Okay. Now, why this is important because this is going to update your pack cli version to 1.27.6 now why this is important is because if you see pack command over here you might see some changes which is done by microsoft with regards to pack pa portal now earlier we had something called as pack pa portal but now we have something called as pack power pages so going forward we need to make use of this command pack pa portal still is supported however that might eventually go off okay so make sure that you use pack power pages going forward and that's the first step to install the latest cli okay so now again uh, we need to again log into all our uh, uh, environment by using auth okay pack auth create command but i'm not going to show you that i have already done that you that can be you know like you can do it offline but uh, i'll show you uh, the two authentication which is configured in my system uh, pack auth list now if you see here data was girish dev and girish uat now the star is on uat so that means that's the correct star i wanted because i'm referencing a uat site now okay because my uat site resides here in wingtip site uat okay right now here let me clear the screen now the one command which i'm going to run is pack power pages download okay dash dash path okay and i need to give the path of the uh, folder now I know the path, but I don't know the website ID for it. Yes, yeah, so sorry guys, I have to uh, uh, re-authenticate my pack uh, auth command. So as you see over here, pack auth uh, list, uh, if you see here, now this has an updated URL for my environment, uh, which I have created, you know. Now I made this change uh, today in the morning and it was reflect still reflecting the old URL. Now it is reflecting the new URL. Now the next step for me to uh, do over here is to first confirm that this is pointing to the UAD site and then I will run the power pages uh, list to see the uh, power pages site within this UAD environment. So now it is connected to the UAD environment and now it is showing there are like so many sites. Now I'm just interested in this site. So I'll take the website ID for this. I'll copy this. And the next command which I'm going to run is pack power pages download dash dash path. Now the path in my local system is cpp site so it's this and the website id is this 
oh no the one which i copied from here okay so let me paste this here so this is what this command is going to do this is going to download the website in my uh, file system now it is shown that it is starting to download this website and i think it might take around 20 30 seconds to download this website this website does not have anything fancy it's all stock standard uh, website with uh, very few customization Now this is the site is downloaded in 38.82 seconds. Now let's go to the file system and see. Now yes, I can see a folder over here. If I open this, now let's stay in this folder for a moment, okay? Uh, let me show you the path. So this is the path now, okay? Now here where you see this website.yml file, this is the path where you should always stay, okay? Uh, to do some action. So now I'll just copy this path. Uh, and now what I'm gonna do is convert the site into a v5 version now the goal is to convert the site into v5 version now here if you see there is only one folder right and you need to go into this folder and copy this url now the syntax okay let me clear the screen the syntax for converting a site from v3 to v5 is back power pages bootstrap dash migrate dash dash path and now you need to provide the path of the website.yml file which is located in this particular folder okay so the command is pack power pages bootstrap dash migrate dash dash path and the folder path for the website.yml file now if uh, i run this command then ideally what should happen is uh, let me select this You put an enter now once i run this command uh, the command line will try to find this path try to find the website.yml file and try to find if there is a uh, v3 version or not and now it has find that it's a v3 version it started migrating and then it said oh it's finished the bootstrap my bootstrap migration okay now if i go into this folder on the cpp side you will see an another folder called as uh, cpp side wingtip side wingtip side v5 okay now this is the converted version of the uh, v3 site okay so it looks similar there might be some sort of a differences but i haven't explored it much uh, on this but now you have a v5 version okay now what you can do is you can take that v5 version and then upload it in your uh, say new site okay so like how we have done pack pa portal download we can also do pack pa portal upload but make sure that you are pointing to the correct environment and then this uh, site gets migrated to the uh, newer version so let's try out that so uh, let's go to back auth list and we see we are pointing to uad now let's point to dev version okay so back auth select dash dash index and one okay so that the star should point to the dev now as if you see over here now the star is pointing to this here okay now let's see i understand the syntax of upload command okay so if you are in a uat site now let me go back to the u this is that uat site now there is wingtip site uat we are in uat uh, environment now we need to go into dev environment dev environment just has one active site over here which is a bootstrap site okay Now, ideally, if we migrate, then what should happen? This particular site should appear in this environment, and uh, then your goal is achieved. Okay. So uh, now I'm correctly pointing to the dev environment. So let me go to pack the power pages upload dash dash path and then give the path of that v5 version. Okay. Now the v5 version is stored in cpp site v5. Now here is a website.yml file. I will point this here and I will put this and I'll run the command and see whether the site is 
getting rendered or not okay so now the left side manifest is getting loaded and all the records are getting created in the backend again it might take around 30 to 40 seconds to oh, upload the site completely now it took around 31 seconds okay now if everything is working fine then ideally we should see one more site over here let's refresh this page and now remember sometimes it will go into the inactive site because this is the first time we are doing this operation so it will not appear in the active site you need to go into inactive site and see whether the site exists or not which is wingtip site uad and if it does exist then yes i can see created on october the second then i would say reactivate the site okay so let me reactivate the site and then the site will be provisioned so let me call this as wingtip refi okay and wingtip dash v5 and i click on done wingtip v5 yeah so that is available i'll click on done and then my site will be reactivated and maybe if you wait for like uh, three or four minutes then you should see the site is uh, provisioned and you can navigate to the site and only one thing is now remain to be confirmed is whether this is actually a bootstrap version 5 or not so maybe once the site is completely provisioned we will run the site and then we'll see whether it is of version 5 or not so that's it folks this is how you generate a site from v3 to v5 version and uh, so you make use of a command which is uh, basically uh, pack power pages bootstrap dash migrate and then you convert that particular site from the folder path uh, to a v5 version and then you upload that particular folder uh, into the new site so that's it thanks for watching